This is Dr. Gabriel Chu from FECL in Surrey, BC. And today with this video, I want to talk a little bit about the insertion of the Oculentis M Plus lens and how to uh, safely and efficiently put that lens right into the capsular bag in one, uh, one step. It is an injector style. So uh, once you have the injector in, then you try to aim for the middle. The haptics do come out quite quickly, so you do want to make sure there's enough room. You'll see that I'll retract my injector as the leaflets come out. And with my secondary hand, I'm guiding the lens straight into the capsular bag. It's not very clear, but I'm putting posterior pressure on the trailing haptics to lead them directly into the capsular bag so that by the time I'm finished injecting, the entire lens will unfold right into the capsular bag and center by itself. That way you don't leave the trailing haptics out of the bag, making it a bit more difficult to get the entire lens into the bag, especially if you have number one, a small capsorexis, or number two, um, a uh, capsular bag and zonules that are loose um, and uh, apt to, um, to break. Now that the lens is inside the, the, uh, the capsular bag, we can easily use bimanual rotation with the IA handpiece as well as the secondary uh, instrument. In this case, I'm using a chopper to rotate the lens in uh, clockwise fashion quite easily. The hydrostatic pressure from the uh, BSS bag allows us to distend the anterior chamber and expand the capsular bag to its maximum size because it is a large uh, lens, so we do need as much uh, of the bag open as much as possible. After you've attained the proper positioning of the lens, then we can um, uh, seal the wounds. Thanks very much.